What's it like seeing so many Republicans in Manhattan, so many Trump supporters in Manhattan? Does that surprise you? No, not at all. It's turning now. Trump's turn again. What's your message to Joe Biden? Fuck you. Make some noise if you were happy that Trump lost and then Biden won the election. Make some noise if you were happy that it happened. Yeah. Okay. Now make some noise if you love Joe Biden. You see what I mean? Like, right? You know what I mean? Like, we won and we're miserable about it. We hate this guy. Trump won and you know. I am, I am, I am Superman, and I can't do anything. I believe one of the members on the other side incorrectly said that there was something in the, her testimony that said the president was incompetent. He never said that. He never wrote that. No one has said or wrote that. He said he was a sympathetic character, elderly person who had a little problem with their memory. That's not saying you were incompetent. And that's, nobody suggested that. I say he's not competent to be president. To be president, you have to be sharp and tough and so many other things. That's not saying you were incompetent. Nobody suggested that. And some young guys start writing, Vice President Biden said this, 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 this. He didn't say it. Joe doesn't know he's alive, okay? He doesn't know he's alive. President Biden's first two years has been compared to the 1964 Lyndon Johnson era as the most effective legislative actions, congressional actions in our country's history. I guess I should clear my mind here a little bit. Yes, yes. <laughs> he really should clear it. Inflation hitting another 40-year high this week. President Biden says, blame Putin, even though prices have been surging for the whole year. We did it. We did it, Joe. There are lawmakers on both sides of the aisle that are pushing back on the White House's Putin price hike excuse as we watch 40-year high inflation grip America. We did it. We did it, Joe. Zero. Today, we received news that our economy had 0% inflation. How is that message being received at zero? Well, it's being received as if it's a joke. I mean, the truth is, Bill, is this is more misinformation and disinformation. Look, the problem with the president is he has trouble telling the truth of what he's going to do. As America now faces a choice between truth and lies. Are we going to give in to all of these lies and this disinformation? We have dramatically reduced inflation from 9% down to close to 3%. I think inflation has gone slightly up. It was at 9% when I came in, and it's now down around 3%. You're the head of the Council of Economic Advisors. Do you ever whisper in his ear, Mr. President, it was at 9% when you assumed office. It was 1.4%. It was never, ever, ever 9% when you came into office. So why does he keep saying that? Two times over the past two weeks, the president said inflation was 9% when he came into office. Is the president misleading <clears throat> Americans on that, or does he just not realize that inflation was 1.4%? The factors that caused inflation was in place when he walked in into the administration. Uh, that the factors that caused inflation to climb to 9% were in place when he took office. No, I think that's it was not fine. what he said. He said it was at 9%. It was 9% when I came to office. 9%. The fact of well, the matter is it wasn't 9%. So if I can't trust him quoting data in real time, why should I believe what he's talking about now? The factors that caused inflation was in place. Look, the problem with the president is he has trouble telling the truth of what he's going to do. We shouldn't be having agricultural tariffs in with regard to China. They're stealing our intellectual property. Today, I'm announcing new tariffs in key sectors of the economy that are going to ensure that our workers are not held back by unfair trade practices. It's their stealing intellectual property. He's picking the whole wrong fight with China.
Today I'm announcing new tariffs in key sectors of the economy. That are Time for BS is over. The first message is for Joe Biden, our president name only. You failed. You are a total, epic, colossal, apocalyptic failure. We did it. You name it. Biden got it done. President who has spent around 40% of his presidency on vacation. Yes, Biden hasn't just broken records for illegal immigration. He's also breaking records for number of vacation days on personal overnight trips away from the White House. You name it. Biden got it done. He even got done finally after lollygagging monies for Israel and Ukraine. A new report accusing U.S. officials of failing to account for more than half of the sophisticated weapons supplied to Ukraine. The report found that more than a billion dollars worth of 1.7 billion in military items under scrutiny were delinquent. Biden criticized Trump's handling of the COVID outbreak, but misquoted some things Trump said. Donald Trump instruct Americans to inject bleach to treat COVID-19. He told Americans all they had to do was inject bleach in themselves. Remember that? Not a joke. You think I'm making this up. Remember when he told us literally, inject bleach. <laughs> Bless me, Father. So Trump did mention bringing disinfectants and UV rays inside the body, but it was more of a suggestion of something that could be studied. And you saw he was running those ideas by his advisor. He wasn't telling Americans to inject bleach. And that's why the truth meter rates Biden's claim. Mostly false. You think I'm making this up? <laughs> this is going to sound naive. I have faith in the American people. The American people overwhelmingly support what I'm doing. The polling numbers are overwhelming. Democrat, Republican, and Independent. New poll shows only one-third of U.S. adults approve of the job President Biden is doing. That is a record low, not just for him, but also for any president over the last 15 years. Rough night last night, eh, Joe? Mr. President, what's your message to Democrats who are concerned about your poll numbers? My poll numbers, the last five polls you guys don't report, I'm winning. Five. Five in a row. We have the data in front of us here. And for, for Biden to say, well, he's leading Trump in five polls. No, actually, he's losing to Trump in the last 19 out of 20 polls. I'm winning five, five in a row. So the American people, I think, are really sick and tired of being lied to by this president. The polling numbers are overwhelming. Democrat, Republican, and Independents. The average is we got 78% of the American people, if I'm not mistaken, the last major poll done showing that they support my, what I'm talking about, this gigantic effort to try to build back and build back better. Yeah, so I actually um, did a little fact checking. There have been seven polls in the past seven days. Uh, two of them, Biden has won by 1% in each case. Four of them, Trump has won by an average of 7%. One was a tie. So what he said is factually incorrect. Wow. Oh. Now look, I've seen a lot of things, but that was awesome. We did it. We did it, Joe. You failed the American people. You failed our country. You failed our military, our army, our Marines, our Air Force, our Navy. You failed the Afghan people. You failed our allies. You, 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 you failed everyone because you were a coward. His wife gave birth to his child and he was playing golf and fornicating in Nevada rather than being with his wife and his newborn child. What an example we have for the American public and for young people. Joe Biden is, as Colin Yost said at the correspondence dinner, a decent man. He's sympathetic and a decent man. Inappropriate behavior, Joe Biden's inappropriate behavior toward his daughter. Uh, she said, I remember showers um, when I was, you know, too young. She said, was I molested? I think so. She was 12, I was 30, but anyway. Yeah. What an example we have for the American public and for young people.
We did it, Joe. <laughs> High five. Yes, yes.